guys. So we spent a good like five or six hours out today looking for snakes and we didn't come across anything. And then one of the last things I wanted to flip today, this black mat type thing. There's a bunch of ring necks we found under it. There was actually five that I saw, but I got three in hand right here. There's a little one. This one is massive. This is like as big as they get, I'm pretty sure. It's actually pretty incredible to see one this size. Hopefully it's focusing. He's calmed down a little bit. And we got the other two in this hand. Him. They have beautiful yellow bellies. And we got the little one right there. So right here, we have a common snapping turtle. It's kind of chilling there in the water. It's starting to move now. He's kind of just sitting there for a while. It's super cool. Try to zoom in as close as I can. This is the same spot where I saw the uh, like a bunch of painted turtles the other week. And there are definitely a bunch of painted turtles out today as well. I just didn't get close enough to get any good footage yet. There he goes. There's another painted turtle for the day. I think this is the first one I got on camera. Oh. All right guys, so first herp of the day, got this dusky salamander. There's a very noisy road behind me, sorry about that. Let's see if I can get this guy in hands. We're just gonna take off. Very super hard to get in hand. There he is. Nice little northern dusky salamander. Really cool. I'm probably gonna be seeing a lot of these guys today. There's almost always like at least one at this little spot right here. Yeah, super cool. I'm gonna keep on searching. Today's targets are uh, reds and long-tailed salamanders. I still have yet to get my life for red salamander, but who knows, maybe today. Second salamander of the day. You can kind of see his tail. He's in this moss right here, but red back salamander. I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of these guys today. I'm at the spot that should have reds. Like I'm right around the stream that I know there's been sightings of them. And this is also around the area where I found the long-tailed salamander. So hopefully I'll turn one of those up today. I probably won't show a whole lot of these guys because I show them off a lot on my channel, but at least the first one I find today I'll show. Maybe like another one. Because they actually have some really cool red backs in this area. I've seen ones, ones with like almost like green backs, which is kind of crazy. So if I find one of those today, I'm definitely going to show that, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to put his log back and keep on searching. All right, so this is the last red back I'm showing. Just want to show him off because he doesn't actually have a red back. He's one of the lead back morphs, so as you can see, he completely lacks the red back. Instead, he has this really cool, like, speckled pattern. These guys can have some crazy variations, especially at this spot. I don't know what it is. This spot just has some really cool looking red backs, which is always cool, even though these guys are super, super common to find different, I guess, variants of them in their range. It's really cool. I did it, guys. Life of Red Salamander right here. Oh my God. I've heard this spot so many times and I haven't found one, but I knew they were here. Let's go. Like, and he's a nice looking one too. Like, like he's like very, very vibrant, almost like orange. So cool. I'm gonna wash him off right here, but I, I wanted to get a video just in case he somehow gets away, but and I don't think he will. I'm gonna take some photos of this guy too. I can't believe that. That is so freaking cool. I flipped him under that log right there. I'm starting to lose hope. It's always when I'm almost back in my car that I find this stuff. I could have probably spent all day out here and it's always like the last 10 minutes of being out that I find whatever I'm looking for. I'm next to like a super busy road right now. All right, I'm gonna wash this guy off and then get some more video of him. All right, here he is again. 
I cannot believe I found this guy today. I mean, it, it's, it's about time, like, this is like one of those, like, lifers that, like, I should have gotten a long time ago, but they just somehow eluded me for the longest time. Wow, there's, like, no cars here. I can't believe that. There was just, like, constant traffic this whole entire time. It's finally quiet. Oh, now the cars are coming in. I've been trying to get some photos of him on this green leaf. Just such great contrast. I can't believe that is so cool. It's about time I had a bit of luck with salamanders this year. I've only really found duskies, two lines, and redbacks. I'm trying to think if I found anything else. Like, I didn't even find spotted this year. I found a lot of egg masses. Wow. So cool. Beautiful salamanders. This is probably one of my favorite salamanders we have here in PA. They're just, they're gorgeous. And this is like as good as an individual gets. That is incredible. Dude. <laughs> All right, so right here we got a red-eared slider that I just dove into the pond out there to get. The water's like super deep, so that's why I look like, and I literally went up to like here, <laughs> got really deep. Yeah, he's kind of freaked out right now, understandably. He's caked and all this stuff. Try to get a little bit of this off. This is an invasive species, but not much we can do about it. Sadly, they've populated most of the ponds in Pennsylvania. But very cool still, just to see a turtle, even if it is invasive. We've already seen quite a few. There's a lot of turtles just all over the place here. I didn't see a snapping turtle yet today, but there's already been a lot of painteds and red ears. So I guess I'll put this guy back. That's cool with you. Did you? Get yeah, it? yeah. There he goes. There's a snapping turtle right here. He's facing me, you're good. Here he is. Holy shit. Snapping turtle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh, their claws are sharp. All right, we'll put him on land. You okay, buddy? You okay. Check him out. <laughs> Snapping turtles are that so is cool. Beautiful. Literal dinosaurs. Oh man, he's cutting on my fingers. Their claws are very sharp. All right, I, I can let him go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this guy back. All right. There you go, buddy. Come on. There he goes. So cool. Definitely one of my favorite turtles just because how massive they are. They, they look prehistoric. I mean, they pretty much are prehistoric. They've been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Really cool. Hopefully we'll get our hands on some more today. All right, so first snake of the day, at least for me, Nick saw a water snake, but I wasn't able to see him in time before he took off. We've got this ring neck snake that I just flipped under one of these rocks here. This is a really good looking area. This is where we saw the brown snake like a month or two ago. It's almost been two months now. It's actually kind of crazy. But yeah, we got another ringneck snake. This is, I think, the sixth one of the video, actually. Pretty cool. I've never seen them at this location. This is the closest to home I've ever seen one. It's only, like, a five-minute drive away from my house, which is kind of crazy. I honestly, they, like, I figured this would be good habitat for them, but I never actually saw one here, so I didn't get my hopes up. And they're super, really super common, but always cool to see. Hopefully we can get our hands on something else today as well or at least some more ringnecks, but yeah. They're very beautiful snakes, even though they're so common. That yellow ventral is so cool. And I just realized he has some specks on his belly as well. I don't think, I don't think Northern ringneck snakes usually have the speckled bellies. I thought that was more of a Southern ringneck thing, unless I'm getting them mixed up right now. Yeah, cause right here it's like plain, 
and then it becomes speckled. That's actually really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, so Nick just flipped this super tiny little ring neck snake. This was definitely last year's young. He's super tiny. They're always super cute. Really cool. All right, what's up everybody? It's been a while since I've gone out and actually found a lot of stuff, but um, today is a day I've been looking forward to for a very long time, because it's finally the beginning of hognose snake season, which hognose snakes are probably one of my favorite snakes in North America. They're, they're at least in the top five, and I've never seen one before, but I know this spot has them. So I'm gonna spend a good like three hours out here if I can, because it is like after school. So sadly I couldn't spend a full day out here but I'm gonna come back this weekend as well. And it looks perfect, especially up here more. And yeah, I'm really hoping I can find one today. Fingers crossed. This is actually the spot where I found a wood turtle and a box turtle last year. And it just looks like perfect habitat for them. All right, guys, first find of the day, we got this wood turtle that I heard moving around back here. I pretty much knew it was a turtle right when I heard it walking around near this perfect looking area for turtles. This is right around where I saw the one last year, even though I don't think this is the same individual. Oh boy. So cool. I love wood turtles. Their shells are actually really beautiful, even though like they look really dull. They have such a cool pattern. Hopefully it's focusing. It's so bright out here, I can barely even see my phone screen. So cool. I, I need to stop saying so cool constantly, my bad. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. All right, guys, first herd for the day. I just rose, rode cruise a super fast box turtle. Oh my God. All right, here he is. I can't believe it. He's super pretty too. Oh my God. I was literally just thinking, what if I rode cruise a box turtle today? Like I was just thinking that. And then I saw him. I actually can't believe that. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Wish I could spend more time with them, but put them along the road like this. Don't want to spend too much time here, especially with the turns on that side of the road and everything. Let's go, first herp of the day. All right, so I was about to call it quits today. I was not finding anything. I flipped a few rocks and I was heading back down this talus slope and I just thought for sure I would not be finding anything. I wasted a whole entire hour out in this one field trying to make it to a power line cut. It was just too overgrown, I couldn't even get to it. And I wasted like an hour and a half. So I like booked it over to this spot and then I just did not think I would find anything. So I was about to go back home. The last rock I flipped had this milk snake under it. I cannot believe my luck right now. I was literally about to call it quits. I flipped a bunch of these rocks. I mean, okay, I flipped a couple of them. There's obviously a lot of these. I didn't flip like anywhere close to all these, but I, I flipped a couple of the good looking ones. And that rock right there, I was not expecting anything to be under it. I, I was just flipping it like just in case. And there's this freaking milk snake just coiled up under there. I really wish I could have got the flip clip on camera. I am literally just shocked right now. This is target number one of today. I can't believe that. He's like a super cool coloration too. He's like a very, very dark orange. So cool, man. Oh my God. All right, so I've been holding this guy for quite some time now, probably more than 10 minutes, which I try to keep my interactions like 10 minutes or less. And this guy's probably holding for a bit over that now. So I'm gonna put him back. I tried to get him posed for some pictures, but he just wasn't cooperating. And I'm just gonna let him go back under. I can't believe that, man. That is so cool. All right guys, second snake of the day. We got another ring neck snake this video. Pretty sure this is like the eighth ring neck of the video. I could be wrong, but I've been finding a lot of these guys lately. I flipped quite a few rocks since that milk snake. I'm pretty much flipping like all the good looking rocks now. And even some of the like the not good looking rocks, like literally just everything that's flippable pretty much. I'm just working my way across the top. 
and I turned this guy up. I also turned up a redback salamander earlier, but I didn't record him because he was kind of spazzing out, so I put him back under. But yeah, really cool ring neck snake right here. I'm gonna put him back under. I'm not gonna spend as much time with him as I did the milk snake, but still a super cool find. So pretty happy about that. Let's put you back under. All right guys, so first herp of the day, I'm back looking for hog nose snakes. We got this box turtle right here. Just found my first of the year yesterday, and he's out now. Oh man, just got hit by a bunch of thorns. Check him out. Not even going into his shell yet. I'm probably not even gonna bother picking him up. I'll just leave him alone. Super cool, I might try to photograph him real quick. He's in like a really nice place to get photos. Hey there, buddy. Well, this is a good sign. It means that the reptiles are out. And it's a perfect day for hognose snakes. It's gonna hit like 72 degrees soon, overcast. So I'm sure there's gonna be like, all the reptiles are gonna be basking today. But yeah, super cool. That's a box turtle right there. All right guys, so second turtle of the day. We got the second wood turtle of the video. He's chilling pretty far from the water source around here. I honestly didn't think I would find them this far out, but extremely cool. Looks like he's been walking around this area for quite some time because he has all like the dust from the uh, pine trees all over him. So do I. Yeah, yeah, it's covering my backpack and everything. Wood turtles are so cool. This is a very good sign to be seeing this many reptiles already. All right, we got the second wood turtle of the day, even farther away from water. This guy's pretty orange. His legs are at least. Really cool looking guy. There's an ant crawling on. Yeah, I'm also surprised to see them this far out from the water. But pretty cool. Oh, they're all over there. They're so cute. Yeah, actually. They're already. They're turtles. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this guy up real quick. <laughs> yeah, wood turtles are so cool. The coals are a little He's bit orange. short. Yeah, yeah, he Green is. Turtle. He's probably the prettiest one I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. Get <laughs> angry. He said you're the prettiest. His so, claws feel sharper than the snapping turtle I picked up the other day. To be called the most handsome. Yeah. Pretty. Is that what's going on here, buddy? Yeah, he's a pretty nice looking one. Oh, he just peed on me. Okay, buddy. How's it going? Oh man, his claws are sharp. All right. I'm gonna get a couple pictures and then let him go. All right, we got another wood turtle today. I'm not gonna pick this guy up, but there he is. Just gonna let him chill out there. All right, we got yet another wood turtle for the day. I think that's number four. That's actually so cool, but I think, I think this is gonna be the last one I show since I'm probably gonna find a few more today, I'm guessing. I don't wanna just flood the video with one species. So yeah, this could be the last one I show even though I may find a lot more today, who knows? I'm gonna be out for another hour or two looking for hog and nose snakes. So far, didn't see any sign of any snakes, but it doesn't mean they're not out here. And the habitat looks perfect, and it's a perfect day, so hopefully I'll turn one up. All right, gonna leave this guy alone before he gets too freaked out by me. All right, guys, so there's a super defensive copperhead just along the trail here. This is the closest they get to chasing people, which is obviously not that close, but he definitely lunged at me a few times when I even got a little bit close to him like this is as close as i can get without him lunging at me so yeah he's very very defensive so i'm gonna have to run back and get my snake hook and get him off the trail but that's super exciting mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. i'm just gonna let him go on his way i'm hoping this is the area he wants to go <laughs> All right, there he goes. A little bit farther back that way, get off the trail. 
There you go. All right. He's going down there now. Away from everybody walking. Definitely the most feisty a copperhead gets. Like, that was actually pretty crazy. I've never seen them act up quite like that.